Resverologics is a late stage clinical biotechnology company dedicated to improving the lives of patients with chronic illnesses and providing value-based health solutions to key partners as well. And with me is the president and CEO, Donald McCaff uh, McCaffrey. Great to see you again. Good to see you, Jane. It's yes. been, been too long. It's been a long time. Um, so I was looking through some of your uh, papers and you had a cardiovascular drug that you found could also possibly be a COVID treatment. Am I understanding this right? And if so, can you explain? Yes, that's correct. Um, we still are doing the cardiovascular uh, work. As a matter of fact, uh, since we spoke last, the uh, uh, FDA has granted that program breakthrough therapy designation status. That is their highest uh, category. So we are very thrilled with that. But what's happened regarding the COVID component is in March of 2020, after all of the uh, COVID hit us so hard in the world, uh, a group of 27 universities got together and studied 20,000 different drugs that they thought might be repurposed for um, stop using as a therapeutic, not a vaccine, but a therapeutic for having a positive impact against COVID. <clears throat> and they published a short list of 63 which we were number two on that list. So we were very pleased. And since then we have done a lot of work in, in the animal models moving into the human clinical trials, which are, have started and we'll have the first patients in within a couple of weeks, it looks like. And um, it, it's, it's been very positive. The published work came from the uh, Buffett Cancer Institute in Nebraska regarding uh, lung tissue and from Monash University in Australia regarding uh, heart damage tissue and, and COVID. And that particular one was uh, really quite exciting because it showed the ability to reverse the damage and stop the cytokine storms. Mm -hmm. And doing such, um, uh, it showed in, the, in an animal model that they induce a cytokine storm. That's your immune system overreacting. And that is the killer part of COVID. So they induce it in mice and it's 75% of them, they die. And mm -hmm. if they're treated with our drug, apabetalone, zero, not a single mouse died. Now, this is a very prestigious paper. Um, it was published in Cell. There are 296 uh, biotechnology and, and biochemistry publications. And every year, Cell is listed as number one. So to get a 39-page publication in Cell is prominent. Wow. So we're, we're encouraged. So you ha had this drug that helped, it sound like maybe um, repair or at least stop some of the heart damage. And it also could, because I know there is some heart issues that come along with COVID as well. So it helped with that part of COVID? That's correct. 25% okay. of all patients who have had COVID go on to continuously have heart disease that they did not have before or mm -hmm. higher level. So it is, a, it is a, a very dangerous problem. And according to the doctors in Australia, they witnessed uh, an actual reversal of the damage in, in the human organoids that they used. Uh, it's kind of Frankensteinish, but they have little, they've grown little miniature human hearts that actually pulsate and beat. Hmm. So it is, it is quite an impressive study. They did a lot of work. So to, to see the reversal uh, of, of the damage um, it's important because COVID, you get over COVID, but you don't, you, you are left with uh, organ damage in, in kidneys, in lungs, in heart. So there's a lot of unknown problems still arising from COVID. Oh, absolutely. And even brain, I've heard some, you know, there may be some issues with uh, brain permanent damage there. So um, who are the main patients? Are these people in the hospital? Or, or yeah, that, that's where that's where we're starting, okay. because uh, that's where the problem is, and that's why we have to shut down our economies because the hospitals get overloaded. So we've chosen to start with patients who are being hospitalized, and um, so th their their damage is is already starting, and uh, we believe, and we've seen it in other studies, not in COVID patients, but in other human studies that we have done where uh, these uh, factors that involve what's called a cytokine storm, that's your immune system is turned on, overactive, 
And it's not COVID that's killing the patients. It's actually your own immune system. So those patients in the uh, respirator rooms that we see these horrible uh, videos of, of how bad that is, those patients no longer have COVID. Those patients, the COVID has run its course, which is 10 to 12 days, and it's triggered the human immune system. So COVID causes the death, but it's actually your own immune system that um, is the, the final trigger. And that's what we can reverse. So we have, we have a very unique drug here in that it has a dual mechanism. Mm -hmm. We've been tested and shown to be equally as effective or more so than drugs that are approved for COVID like remdesivir. But remdesivir is an antiviral drug. Mm -hmm. So it's the best example to use here is actually Donald Trump. Uh, and uh, Donald Trump was being tested every single day for COVID. Mm -hmm. So remdesivir for him was helpful because he got it on day one mm -hmm. and he took five doses of remdesivir, very expensive drug, $3,200 a shot. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was helpful for him. But COVID is a stealth disease. Mm -hmm. You have COVID for five to eight days and it, remember, it only lasts 10 to 12 days. You have it up to eight, nine days before you even know you have it. So by the time these people are showing the really bad symptoms of their own immune system turning on them, the COVID's run its case. So unless you can test every day, the antivirals are very difficult uh, to have success with. Ours is an antiviral. But we also have the dual mechanism being the anti-inflammatory or the cytokine storm. We shut that down as well. So we get it from both ends. So we do believe this is going to be an extremely effective therapeutic. And it still will need uh, support from vaccines. And, and we're, not, we're not saying we can replace vaccines. We, we would right. never say that. Mm -hmm. uh, but we certainly can support. And going forward, we all know things like the Delta variant uh, are scaring the markets there. They're scaring yeah. people in general and, and for good reason. Uh, so the beauty here is this drug works on both mechanisms, both on the ACE2 receptor, shutting it down and on shutting down the, the cytokine storm. We have effects on both for all viruses that use ACE2 receptor and cytokine storm inter interactions. Okay. Well, best of luck. And thank you for, you know, <laughs> working on these things, because those of us who aren't involved in science rely on this to get back to normal. And so thank you so much, Don. Great. To, great to see you again. Thank you. Likewise. You okay. take care.